a project of Hartman's Community Center and King Pine Farm Studios. Donate to Hartman's Community Center today, 41 Main Street East, Milton, Ontario, Canada, L9T1N2. Hartman's Community Center is a registered charity with Revenue Canada and can offer tax-deductible receipts for donations made to it. The Queen of Prussia's secret labs had been experimenting on the effects of materials from dragon lairs on the human body, and they had discovered that these wondrous materials, which seem to prolong the life of dragons, also prolonged and prevent death in human forms. So when they discovered that Bonnie Parker had been shot by bullets which had been mined out of a dragon's lair, they set forth to recover her body for they believed that she would still be alive in body if not in mind. While they were doing this they also decided to pick up some innocent bystander who they knew looked remarkably like a super secret spy for the enemy. So the U-66 went out and retrieved both the body of the infamous outlaw and of the unlucky bystander. The unlucky fellow who looked remarkably like a super secret spy for the enemy was taken to a top secret concentration camp where they forced him into a radioactive gas chamber and before he lost consciousness the last sight he saw was the flashing lights of the panels around him. When he woke up he found himself strapped down into a bed with strange devices and beside him lay the body of Bonnie Parker in her coffin and connecting her to was a soul transfer device in the middle of which was the sword of spindle stone which was made out of pure dragon's lair metal. The unlucky shell felt himself being drawn into a very cold place which was the womb of the zombie outlaw woman beside him. With time his soul warmed up the body which was not quite dead and she found herself in another room out of her former coffin and there was no sign of her former body. The Queen of Prussia's people let her out where she saw her body walking down outside the prison. She ran up to him and um, he was amused to see that whoever was occupying her former form had dyed her hair from a brown to a blonde and she teased the form on this but the other soul ignored her and babbled away in some foreign language they came to the forest where suddenly the other soul in her former body cursed her and pointed a magical implement at her and chased her away. She was surprised that she was not quite as mortal as she thought but had supernatural weaknesses and she checked herself to make certain if she felt perfectly like a normal woman but apparently she wasn't.